All right, right here in here in this video is going to be talking about the Filmora video editing package. Now, when I have the uh, icon here on my screen, I double click it. For some reason, this one here messes up my um, video um, because I use a television set. I don't have a computer monitor. I have a big TV set um, as my monitor in my office here. And um, this one here messes around with the, it's called scene change. It does something to the television set and says scene change and everything gets blurry. So basically I have to go back in and open up my NVIDIA account and uh, hit the use the default colors and then go back into it. And then that will um, go ahead and fix my uh, resolution. So everything looks nice and sharp and clear. This is the home screen that you get, all right? So it, it, you can use it in easy mode or you can use it in full feature mode. Um, I would recommend going right in, just dive right into full feature mode right away. So let's go ahead and click on that and open everything up. And what we find is I've already imported some video. Actually, it's on my computer. It's just on my computer right now. And this is an interesting thing. This says message center. I'm going to close this and we're going to come back to it in a little bit. Um, but bingo, bango. There we go. So this is the um, video clip that I put in there. It's just a, uh, just a temporary clip, just whatever, so I can play around with it in the software. Uh, and that's media. See, it's highlighted in red here. And these rest ones are blue. As you scroll over them, they turn red. It uh, has split screen things you can do. Um, different elements, overlays, filters, transitions, and text. Let's go back up to that message center again. All of this stuff here, importing the text, all the, or the video clips and all that stuff, is discussed right here in some tutorials that they have right here. If I click on this bottom one here, it'll show you that uh, this young lady right here, and look, it's a YouTube video, right? See, YouTube to learn how to do things. Right there, Filmora's really got their, you know, they got their game plan on and they're doing really well. I'm going to tell you, I looked at these video clips here. Uh, I would have to tell you, if you're brand new to video editing and you don't really know what you're doing yet, you watch these 11 different video clips in here and they're short, all right? They're pretty short clips. They get right to the point, no fuss, no muss, and they jump right to it. Uh, this, late, this young lady right here. So go ahead and watch, you know, download the free software to test it out. Look at it. Do yourself a favor. Watch these uh, video clips down here. Again, they're real short. Watch all 11 of them and see if you don't like what you're seeing with that. I, I was pretty impressed, all right, uh, with that, especially for a new editor. If you're somebody who, who has a better skill, you're moving up the food chain and all that kind of thing, as in the different editing software packages, I might recommend a higher version of a package. However, this one here is pretty darn good. Let's go into a look at uh, some of the features right here. Uh, brand new to this software package. It only took me a few minutes to learn how to use it. That impressed me very much. Uh, let's add a uh, text credit, a title. We're going to want to add a title screen or a video, and let's use this one right here. I just click it um, once, and then it pops up over here. I play this little play button right here, and it'll show me what that title looks like. All right? So that's what that title is going to look like. Now, if I take this thing, I can just hit the plus key, and it'll pop it into my program down here, but I can also delete that, right? I can also click it and drag it down here and drop it in, all right? Uh, one of the things I learned, I want to zoom in on all this, all right, to make this look a little bit bigger than it is. This is the line that you click on. You can use a little plus and zoom in, minus zoom in. If you hit this key right here, it will go full screen, all right? So uh, let's bring it back down to here, and we just want to zoom in a little bit because I'm going to bring my video clip into here too, so a little bit more. Okay, <laughs> that's good. So uh, um, that's that part, and then I want to bring in some media, so I want to bring in some video, right? So I'm going to bring in my video clip down here. I'm going to pop it right here. Now, unlike my videos, um, you see these little lines right here, these little bumps and everything in here? That's the audio. That's me talking. That audio is right there, all right? Uh, and, I can, and, and I can play around with it and everything else. Now, I haven't even gone that far to do that because I don't want to hear myself talking, like many people don't, but I don't want to hear myself talking in this video. So basically, I'm going to drag this over. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Hopefully, it's going to focus on where that icon is right there. What I want to do is I want to zoom in really close because I want to get as much video as I can before I start saying anything. And that looks good right there. This little icon right here is a pair of scissors, like in cut, right? So I click on that, it, cl it cut the video. So if I click on the one on the right where my voice is and I hit the delete key, boop, it's gone, right? So now I also want to use this video clip here, but I want to use it for two transitions. So I'm going to go about the halfway point, right about there, hit cut. Now I have two different video clips here, right? Between a video clip, you can have a transition, right? That's great. So let me go click on this opener. This is a title screen. I want to make this a little bit shorter. You notice when I click on these things, they highlight in red like that. Um, most of them do. Like all the soft, this is a common thing that you know, when you're highlighting something, you're really focused on something. If you click on it, it usually has some kind of highlight to tell you what you're doing. So I want to make this one here a little bit shorter, all right? Now you notice that this one down here also has a highlight on it. 
Um, when you make them shorter, they're locked together. If you make it longer, the lower one will disconnect. All right, just saying, you play around with this stuff and learn how to use it. Um, let's make this a three second, eh. Oh, we'll go with the four second title, that's good. So we took a little bit of time off that. And again, if we slide this back to the beginning, we can see what their default title is up here on the top right, all right? Click on that and it falls in there, all right? So now we wanna edit this. We want we wanna put our name and the title of this video in here, right? So let's double click this one down here because it says T for text, right? And this is video and this is text. So let's double click on this one down here. You have your text and you wanna highlight it, right? Well, you can work on it here or here. So I can work up here, see, and it highlighted over here, or if I want to, I can click on it here, right? Boom. Now I hit Control A to select all, just like a word processor, and I wanna write Filmora. Uh, film, oops. Filmora demo, right? And then uh, I wanna click down here. Now, this is funny because if you work with Photoshop or anything like that, any video editor or uh, picture editor, there's a box here, right? If I click on this box, how, how do I get this title down here? Watch this. I click right here and it goes to the other title. Hit Control A and I'll put my name there, right? Ray Hayden, uh, comma, J, period, D, period, all right? Oops. All right, and that's it, we're done, right? Now I wanna go into some advanced things here. Let me go uh, click on this one here and I wanna go advanced and I wanna put some animation. Oh, I don't want, I'm sorry, I don't wanna play around with this here in advance, but this is pretty cool. And as a matter of fact, if you look in this, this is where the title starts in the timeline. I, I actually hadn't even been in here. The Filmora thing comes in here first, then my name comes in, right? So check this out. We go back here and we play this, right? Oh, let, let's say, say okay and we're gonna save that, right? Let's go back to the beginning and now we got my name and the title of this thing's gonna come up in the video, right? Pretty cool, huh? That fast, you can edit the video, you can edit the um, title. That's fast. Um, so you can see, you can get somebody up to speed pretty quickly in this. You just go to the titles, right? Let's go to some transitions and play around with those. I normally like just to do uh, pretty much a uh, dissolve between videos. Again, I, if you play this, you can see what it, it'll show you what it looks like. All right, hopefully there's no audio in that. <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and click on the dissolve and click and drag it down here. Just drop it in and there it is. Notice, you see the dissolve thing has all these little dots in it. If you look right here, you'll see the video, the transition has a bunch of little dots here too, right? Also this white cursor or the white you know, place mark here the, the, in the timeline, goes to the beginning of the transition. Now watch if I hit the play button up here now. It just does the fade in, right? Cool, that's pretty quick, pretty easy, everything's nice and dandy. If I wanted to use a different kind of transition, see it's got the one with the little dots on it and we'll use the dissolve. Let's go and use, I don't know this, I've never used this one before, just click it, drag it, and drop it right there, it changes, right? So let's go ahead and hit play, see what happens here. Um, not a big fan, but hey, that's okay. Uh, maybe we like something else. Let's go to basic dissolves here. Um, let's go to for blinds. I see these a lot. These pop in a lot. Hit the play button. That's pretty neat. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that's an interesting dissolve there. Now let's say we want to uh, make this a little bit faster. We make this a little bit shorter. If we highlight this and it's got the red box around it, remember this, I click on this title thing over here where it says opener one. Number one, you see a dashed red line. That's around the transition. The focus now is on the title itself. We want the focus to be on a transition right here. We go to the end of it, it changes into that little bar with the two arrows on it. I can make this shorter. I want this to be about a one second transition. So there we go, that's good enough. And then we'll slide it over here and then we'll check it out and see how it goes. Not bad, that's a quick transition, very nice. Now I usually like to dissolve here. So we'll go ahead and put the dissolve back, right? Now for this next uh, transition over here, let's say I wanna do something different. Um, I will go to a warp because these look kind of fun. Um, and let's go to, let's go to this one here. It turns a little bit. That's kind of interesting, right? Drag it right down to the timeline, drop it in. And I want to make it shorter, bound to about a second. And if you look at the duration thing, there it says duration and reduced uh, or extended, right? Um, but I'm going to reduce it down to about a second. There, right there. That looks good. And see, there's a little bit of space. So let's drag this back over here. Uh, real, because I want to catch a bolt. As a matter of fact, it's a short video. Let's go back to the very beginning and watch the whole thing. So from the very beginning of the show through these two transitions, here we go. Pretty short. Here's your title. First transition's coming up. Here it is. Second transition, bam. That's pretty impressive. Okay, now a lot of professional videos don't use these kind of transitions like this. Um, they do use dissolves and fades and everything. But a transition like this one here, look in the top right-hand corner. That kind of transition is more like for a television commercial, for an advertisement or something like that. 
something that's a real short, quick, to the point, and want to keep your attention focused, that's the kind of transition you might see in a commercial. As a matter of fact, this is a great way to learn how to use video editing. Uh, find a commercial that looks like it'd be pretty good to mimic. You want to copy a commercial, right? And you basically want to make the commercial, but you're shooting the video. You're the star of the commercial, right? especially one with one person talking to the screen, where they have different, um, different viewpoints, different angles, stuff like that. Try to copy the commercial. It's a one, it's a one, 30 seconds to one minute of a video, right? Try to copy all that stuff and try to edit your video to as closely as possible match the commercial, some kind of commercial that you might like. It's a very good way to learn how to do the editing and then compare it, right? Uh, if you have a, a video recorder of some sort, you can record, just point a camera. It doesn't have to be perfect video and record yourself a commercial or two that you like and go ahead and try to mimic what they did in that commercial in your video just so you can learn how to use your editing software. Uh, this one here, I'm very impressed. I like it very much. I would actually, in all honesty, still go with mine um, because I've been using it and everything. I know how to use it. But I'm telling you, in my personal professional opinion, I've been shooting video since 1992. I am a professional videographer. And in this message thing up here and watching this young lady in these tutorials, I got to tell you, I'm highly impressed with the way Filmora did this. And they made this very, very easy and gave you the tools needed to get yourself up and running with video editing uh, in pretty quick order. All right. So with that, um, don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up here. Um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my videos. Uh, subscribe to my channel. And that's going to wrap this one up. Until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.